3D printer friends. If you have a Bamboo Lab 3D printer or you use Bamboo Studio to slice your files, pay attention because I have a new tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make parts of an object on your build plate a little stickier to prevent them from failing down the road. And we are going to use the Cinderwing 3D Flying Serpent model. This is 100 scale grown up version of the Flying Serpent. Now Tracy, Cinderwing 3D, has dozens of dragons and a lot of her models are stinking fantastic. If you do not have her Patreon subscription, get it. It is worth the $10 a month that you pay. And if you have printed this flying serpent before, whether it be the grown up or the baby, or maybe even her sunflower dragon, you know that about 10 minutes before the print finishes, that little wing likes to wiggle loose and and we could add a brim, adding a brim to the entire object, but then you're going to spend forever picking a brim off, right? And again, this is if you're not using a cool plate or a sticky plate to help the model adhere to the bed better. So we're going to add a brim just to the wings. That way we're not spending a million hours picking off a brim from the rest of the print. So let's get to it. I changed the color to pink just because I love this color, pink. So what we're gonna do is we have our object selected. You've got the white box around the flying serpent. There's this cute little button right here, this guy, that says brim ears. Brim ears. We are gonna go ahead and click that. Now you can choose your head diameter. That's how big you want the circle to be. So just like the picture indicates, it adds these little circles to sharp points on your object on the built plate. Now, I like the big ones, so I'm just gonna go big or go home. And as you can see, when you hold over and hover, don't click, just hover, once you have the model selected, brim is gonna show up. You're gonna just click it into place. Now, again, on this model, this is the part of the model that fails. So what you do is you just click, 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 okay? We're only gonna do one wing, just cause this is a tutorial. So once you have your brim clicked into place, it's still not going to slice. So let's just slice it and see what happens. 20 hours later. After the slice, you can clearly see, well, what the heck? There's no brim. That's because there's a second step we need to take. So we're gonna go over into back to prepare mode. So we've got the white box around our object. And then we're gonna go to the others tab. And here, where it says bed adhesion, we're gonna change our brim type from auto to painted. And this is only if you are using the brim ears feature in Bamboo Studio. Now, another big thing that you can do, especially if you're using glitter filaments or filaments that are extra sticky, is you can change your brim object gap to a wider gap. A wider gap is the gap between the actual model itself and then the start of the brim. The wider that this number is, or the larger this number is rather, the farther the space is going to be in between the wing and the brim, making it easier to pull off. However, the bigger this number is, the more likely it could be that it doesn't adhere enough to the model and it could break free anyway. So definitely be frugal when it comes to increasing the object gap on your brim. And this doesn't just apply to painted brims, this applies to all brims. So if you wanted to make your brim a little easier to pull off, you can change the object gap to 0.2. The most that I have ever done is 0.3. So that's just something that I've learned along the way. Okay, now that our brim is selected to painted, and we've got our brim object gap where we want it. I'm gonna choose 0.2 just because I can. We're gonna go ahead and re-slice the model. Another 20 hours later. If you did everything the way that I instructed you to, your brim is now going to show up right around the base of whatever object you painted it onto. And again, looking at the brim object gap right there, you see the gap right here? So we know that once this brim is done, it's going to peel right off the model, just like a little champion. And for illustration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to 0.3, just to show you. Okay, so we're gonna change it to 0.3. That's gonna make the gap wider. Pay attention to this. 
this is with the 0.3. As you can see, this hole here is a lot bigger than it was before. So that's how you paint a brim onto just a part of an object that you're trying to slice. I hope that helps. Love you. Bye.